I believe this is the fifth time I'm recording this intro and the second time recording the tutorial because I forgot all the notes there is. Either way, welcome everyone, my name is Max and today I'll be teaching you how to create this flickering particle effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. Alright, to get started, um, just grab your either Fusion Composition or your Adjustment Layer. Open this in Fusion, get your background node which is here, change it to white. Currently you can't really see it but to do that you can just press either one or two on your keyboard and it'll go to a specific window. For me it's just gonna be here instead of the main one. And an ellipse tool. To make this height and width synchronized just choose either of these. Double click it, press your equals key and then press enter and it'll make this sort of like connect connector. Hold this or click this hold and then drag it to width and it'll synchronize with the width. Now you can resize it and it'll synchronize together. So now make it de a reasonable size so the image plane doesn't ruin it or doesn't ruin the size. And then drag in your glow and your glow effect and I'll show here as you can see glow effect. Uh, change what? Change the glow to whatever you want. I'll change it like this and then flicker and then flicker just change the range speed a bit smoothness lowered it down and then go here oops go here and as you can see it'll flicker here and now we drag in our image plane our, our renderer and then we drag in our p emitter and our p render and our 3d render and all of this up here all right now go to our p emitter and then go to our style and change the point to bitmap because if we don't do that, it we won't be able to connect this 3D render to our PM meter. Give an example. Um, I'll just retract this in, and as you can see, it won't connect, or it won't have like a orange tab here. I don't know what it's called. It won't have like an input here. So to do that, just change the style from point to bitmap, and it'll add this add this input. Drag the render to here. And now you can just go to uh, um, your media out, go to your P emitter, um, go to controls, uh, make it first keyframe, make it to uh, uh, whatever one number you want. I'll set it to a thousand, and then go to second frame, change it to zero. And now go to region, change it to cube. I'll change all of these to whatever I want. So just so for now, you choose four and i'll go to controls again velocity velocity and then then you go to your angle variance just change it to whatever you want and then now all of this will move in a random position of course it'll still go to the of course it'll still go to the right side as you can see right if we just play this for a bit and then it disappears it's because our lifespan is set to 100 Currently this timeline has 150 frames, so just drag it to how much you want. Now as you can see, it's as soon as we pass the 100 frame mark, it's not disappearing. So yeah, that's about it, I guess. If you want to see more tutorials similar to this, I've made a tutorial on how to recreate a turbulent text effect and how to create 3D text effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any requests on what effects I should recreate, comment down below. Otherwise, see you guys in the next video.